Our Nexus 4 review is now live. Microsoft and Amazon secure a smartphone manufacturer, and Apple keeps shaking the tree with more dismisses after the Maps fiasco. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering what an Amazon phone is going to look like, and this is Pocket Now Daily. If you're still on the ropes about getting a Nexus 4 this holiday season, that's a bit difficult lately because Google reopened sales for the phone today and sadly it sold out in just 8 minutes. And yes, I was in line trying to get a phone of myself, but so far our full review of the device is now live and I'd recommend you watch it fully because even though it is a good phone, it didn't get a great rating and it's really important that you see why. Speaking of the Nexus 4, Google has just pushed the new Android 4.2.1 upgrade to their current Nexus devices because the month of December wasn't there as part of the bugs that were detected recently and we're almost in December. They really had to do something about it. Now, the upgrade doesn't really bring much changes except for these bug fixes, so keep a lookout. If you're still interested on in moving into the phablet space, I'd recommend you have a look at Amazon because they currently have the Galaxy Note 2 on discount. For example, on AT&T, they have it down to 175 bucks after a two-year contract, which is down from $300. Now, sadly, the device is currently on back order on both colors, but hey, you can at least secure the price, so have a look. Apple is sadly still on the road to shake their tree after the whole Maps fiasco. Recent reports have that they're firing their current Maps head after, well, you already know what happened with Maps on iOS 6. I have to tell you that. I personally got lost looking for a Target store recently, so I would want Apple to fix this soon. And even though it has gotten better, let's just hope they figure it out this time. And quick. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Microsoft and Amazon don't seem to be playing any games when it comes to starting their own smartphone. Recent reports have FIH, which is a Foxconn subsidiary, already receiving orders for a smartphone that comes from Microsoft and Amazon. That leads me to the question of the day. Would you be interested in getting an Amazon smartphone after your experiences with the Kindles? I'd ask the same thing about Microsoft, but you already know what the Surface is like, so leave us a comment down below. Honestly, I would be interested. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.